two to today we will talk about quant xrp but the more important part is how they all connect back into ibm to include things like hbar casper xlm and xdc and that is because of the news of the bis project agora which is working on tokenization of cross-border payments on top of the unified ledger and it is interesting timing because project agora was announced the next day ripple announced their stablecoin and on april 9th the bis also put out a paper on stablecoins it seems as if quant might be the key player here what is needed is to bring together tokenized deposits other tokenized assets with central bank money in tokenized form and bring all these elements together on a shared programmable platform. Each platform would only involve the assets and money required for the specific use case. So there would be more than one such platform designed for each particular use case. There would be more than one such platform designed for each particular use case. Designed for each particular use case. Project Agora is all about the BIS working with seven central banks to work with the private sector to explore how tokenization can enhance the functioning of the monetary system. The Institute of International Finance lead the efforts of the private sector, of which IBM is a, which does involve SHX but it also involves XRP, Casper, HBAR, XLM, Quant, and XDC as well. Ripple is already involved and is a founding member of the BIS Cross-Border Payments Interoperability Task Force, and they are also connected to all of the participating central banks, including Japan, in which Ripple and XRP have a huge presence because of SBI. Here are the CBDC projects with the BIS and the central banks directly involved. So we have France, Malaysia, Thailand, UAE, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia, South Africa, and Switzerland. And I have talked about Project Enbridge multiple times and the connections that XRP, XLM, and even SHX and Velo have in that, not to mention Quant and Helvetia, Eura, and Dunbar all have heavy ties into XDC as well. Project Agora includes the New York Federal Reserve Bank which also has direct ties into IBM and therefore XLM, XRP, and SHX because those are always extremely interconnected as I talk about a lot. But I do want to concentrate on quant and I'm not a quant expert. If you are interested in that, I would check out Mind Crypto on X and YouTube. He puts out a ton of information on quant, but it is extremely interesting with the timing of Project Agora and the UK regulated liability network and how it ties into things like R3, Accenture, IBM, Swift, the BIS, IMF, ISO 222, and then XRP and XDC as well. Here is Gilbert Verdian who is the chief executive officer of the Quant Network, talking about how Quant and R3 have been chosen as technology providers in the UK RLN, which is a common platform for innovation across multiple forms of money, including existing commercial bank deposits and as a shared ledger for tokenized commercial bank deposits. And I have talked about that topic a couple of times now and the deep ties that Ripple and XRP have in tokenized deposits. But the thing about Quant 
is that it, in my own terms, the API for APIs, which is portrayed here on the map by the XX account, where all of these individual networks, protocols, and platforms all have their own APIs in order to hook into existing systems. But in order to work together across multiple enterprises, industries, and institutions, there will have to be some way to connect them all together. And Quant appears as if it is positioned to do just that. Project Agora is essentially a CBDC platform split into two parts, which can compare with Project Rosalind with service layers connecting to the core central bank ledger for application and money grammability, which all come down to APIs. BIS CBDCs are not the only time that we have seen tokenized payments in Quant. In 2021, Quant partnered with Lackchain and Hoodie Bank to build payment and remittance corridors for Latin America to the US. Here, we begin to talk about the concept of the BIS Unified, which sounds very comparable to Quant. Quant has already been confirmed by the BIS for CBDC interoperability in Project Rosalind. APIs are the core concentration of all of this. The concept of unified ledgers does not mean one to rule them all. APIs could connect all of the different ledgers to each other and other parts of the financial system that exist outside what the BIS is now referring to as the internet. When it comes to interoperability, there is no need to have m multiple solutions. Quant will serve as the backbone for the entire digital financial system. And I don't agree with that outright. However, I think Quant can have a very important role in connecting all of these different systems together. A lot of people have speculated that the unified interledger protocol and the interledger protocol of Ripple and XRP are actually talking about the exact same thing and using that to say that XRP is the quote unquote chosen one. And I do think it will have a huge purpose. And in my opinion, I think that will be more on the central bank end of things, but I don't think it will do everything. In short, the UILP is a proposal by the BIS for a unified ledger that would combine CBDCs, tokenized bank deposits, and other assets on a common platform. And the ILP is an open protocol designed to enable the seamless exchange of value across different payment networks and ledgers. And in terms of the tech itself, the UILP concentrates on APIs and smart contracts, but does not specifically call out blockchain or DLT. The ILP is built on blockchain and DLT concepts with cryptographic escrow and hashed time lock agreements. In Anders' post, he is also commenting on the coincidence of the timing here and how Quant is especially well positioned in all of this. Ironically, just a day before this paper, we got confirmation that Quant was involved with the RLN to provide interoperability and programmability. RLN's vision is also of a shared ledger, which is the same thing as a unified ledger. In a single MDAP on the Quant over ledger, you can make use of several different ledgers in the same MDAP. If you wish to use XRP for the settlement part, some other chain for the smart contract, you can do that. And in that particular example, I would even call out Zeller as the smart contract since it now has Horaban and is interoperable with the XRPL to a certain extent.
the RLN, which is essentially quant now, and BIS, which includes 63 central banks. Quant could be required in every transaction. And because there is only about 250,000 quant on exchanges, that could induce a supply shock. Some of the key participants in the UK RLN are Visa, MasterCard, Barclays, Lloyds, HSBC, Santander, and Standard Charter, which have direct connections into things like XRP, XLM, SHX, and XDC. All major UK banks are participating in the UK RLN trial. And that is no longer an experiment out of the BIS, but rather it's directly vetted by the Bank of England and the UK government itself. As can be seen here, called out by the Deputy Governor of the Bank of England. Tokenizer has tracked five recently created quant wallets that only hold quant. Two of those were created right before Project Agora. Three of them were created right before the UK RLN, and two were created right after the UK RLN. So it appears as if there is action taking place right now. As if Project Agora and the UK RLN weren't enough, the Bank of Israel is now creating an API-based CBDC sandbox inspired by Project Rosalind. And the Israel Digital Shekel has API gateways in it, which seems as if SATP-enabled API approach is favored by that bank. And ATP is directly connected into quant. So as far as the quant tech goes, they do have a famous patent called blockchain communication and ordering. That was filed in 2018 and enables a universal block time for multi-DLT coordination. Since then, it has been referred to by Intel and probably more importantly, IBM but they have a new patent in the works as well, which is for a secure multi-distributed ledger system, which was filed in November of 2021. And the 2021 patent also concentrates on the overall goal and utility of over ledger. In short, it patents instructions to be carried out on multiple DLT networks to ensure secure and consistent execution across different ledgers. And that isn't all. USDC are the newest members to refer to Quant's patent, and it is the second largest stablecoin issuer with their reserves directly backed by BlackRock, which all tie back into XLM and even SHX. But not to completely ignore XRP, there are some connections in between XRP and the UK RLN. You've got ties in between Quant, Ripple, and R3, as I talk about often. And then you've got HSBC, who has partnered with Medico, who is owned by Ripple now, to create an institutional custody platform. And then there are Visa, MasterCard, and Citibank as well, that although hard to prove at times, there are direct and indirect connections between all of those and Ripple. And then you have Santander, who has been a long-term Ripple partner. So overall, once again, we are able to point to IBM being at the core of all of these predominant fintech cryptos such as quant and xrp